Hello everyone, you're welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to look at 10 fun tricky math questions and answers. These questions are quite challenging and we definitely test your thinking ability. Let's get started and look at the very first question. This question says, um, if 1 equal to 3, let me pick my pen. Okay, if 1 equal to 3, 2 equal to 3, 3 equal to 5, and 4 equal to 4, 5 equal to 4, then what is 6 equal to? Are you thinking? I'm going to help you. If 1 is equal to 3, I want you to know that you must not necessarily um, think of the basic operations like, oh, am I going to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or square? You can still think out of that space. So, I'm going to think in this direction. If 1 is equal to 3, remember 3 in word form is T, 1 in word form is O N E 1. How many letters does 1 has 3? So, 1 is equal to 3. 2 equals to 3, T, W, O, 2 has 3 letters, 3, T, H, R, E, E, how many letters does 3 has, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 letters, 4, F, O, U, R, 4, how many letters does 4 has, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, F, I, V, E, how many letters does 5 has, 4, then 6, S-I-X, has 3 letters. My answer, 6, is equal to 3. Okay, you've learned something new, right? Let's take the next question. Question number 2. Look at this question. What is the number of parking space covered by the car? From what we have here, we have 16... 06, 68, 88, we have the car, then 98. So, what is the number of parking space covered by the car? What do you think we need to do? This tricky math problem went viral a few years back after it appeared on an entrance exam in Hong Kong. The most interesting, interesting part is that this question is for six year olds so supposedly the student had just 20 seconds to solve the problem so have you gotten your answer now okay believe it or not this math question actually requires no math whatsoever if you if you are holding a phone or probably a tab if you flip the image upside down, you will see that what you are dealing with is simple number sequence. So this will be 87. So if you flip it upside down, this is um, a number sequence. This is 86. The, um, this is 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. That makes sense, right? So my answer is simply 87. Okay, let's look at the third question. All right, question three says, I am an odd number. Take away one letter and I become even. What number am I? Think of most of the odd numbers you know. Which among them will give you even if you take one letter away from it? For me, I'm thinking of seven. Seven is S-E-V-E-N. Seven is an odd number. If I remove this letter S, it becomes even. Okay, so my answer is seven. Okay, let's look at the fourth question. Which three numbers have the same answer whether they are added or multiplied together? 
are you thinking? Which three numbers have the same answer, whether they are added or multiplied together? For questions like this, it's good for you to work from the smallest um, numbers you can think of to the biggest. For me, I need to just try out the first three digits, which is one, two, and three. Let's sum them up. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. Let's multiply them. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. So my answer is 1, 2, and 3. Okay, question 5. Question 5 says, There is a basket containing 5 apples. How do you divide the apples among 5 children? so that each child has one apple while one apple remains in the basket. Take note of the instruction in this question. How do you divide the apples, five of them, among five children, so that each child has one apple while one apple remains in the basket? You agree with me that four children get one apple each. So let me indicate it here. Four children get one apple each. Okay, now the fifth child gets the basket with the remaining the remaining apple stain it. So that's the answer. So the answer is simply four children get one apple each and the fifth child gets the basket with the remaining apple stain it. So fifth child gets the basket gets the basket with the remaining apple remaining apple still in it still in it okay so that's all for question five Let's um, look at question six. Question six says, two girls who are born to the same mother at the same time on the same day, in the same month and the same year, and yet somehow they are not twins. Why not? Tricky question, right? Two girls who are born to the same mother at the same time, on the same day, in the same month, and the same year, and yet somehow they are not twins. Why not? Are you thinking? I'm slow because I want to give you time to think of the question and probably figure out what the answer will be. Okay, I'm going to help you. The reason why these two girls are not twins is because there was a third girl which makes them triplets so i'm going to say because there was a third girl because there was a third girl which makes them triplets Okay, that's all. There was a third girl which makes them triplets. That is why these two girls, though born to the same mother at the same time, on the same day, in the same month, and the same year, are not twins. Let's look at question seven. Look at this question. It has diagram. How can you make number six with these three matchsticks without cutting them? Look at the instruction. 
don't cut them. If you have three match stick like this, how can you make number six with them without cutting them? Are you thinking? I'm going to help you with the answer. Since there are three sticks this way, remember one, two, three. Just move the first and the second match stick like you can see on the diagram here. To form the shape of V, it will form a six in Roman numerals. So let's go back to the question again. So to get six, that means the first and the second, you just move them to form this. And then this one stands on its own. That's six in Roman numerals. That makes sense, right? Okay. Let's look at question eight. This question says, solve this equation. This is an equation. Triangle plus triangle equal to 20. Triangle times circle plus circle equal to 22. Triangle times circle minus star times triangle equal to triangle. Find star. For this question, let's find out what one triangle is. If triangle plus triangle is equal to 20, triangle plus triangle, then two triangles will give me 20. I can get the value of triangle by dividing both sides by 2. 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 into 20 is 10. So, triangle is 10. Now that I know what the triangle is, let's find what the circle is from equation 2. This is equation 1 and equation 2. From equation 2, triangle times, but I know that triangle is 10 now. 10 times circle will give me 10 circle plus circle equal to 22 from equation 2. 10 circle plus circle will give me 11 circle equal to 22. Now divide both sides by 11. 11 strikes out 11. 11 into 22 is 2. So circle is 2. Now I know the value of the triangle and the value of a circle. That brings me to the last equation, equation 3. Triangle times circle. Triangle is 10 from what I did earlier. Times circle. Circle is 2 minus the star times triangle, which is 10. We give us triangle, which is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. Minus star times 10 will give me minus 10 star equal to 10. Collect like terms. Move minus 10 star to the right and bring 10 to the left. This will give me 20. 10 from the right going to the left becomes minus 10. Equal to minus 10 star going to the right. The minus will go to just give me 10 star. So that brings me here. 20 minus 10 is 10. Equal to 10 star. What is the star? To get the value of the star, divide both sides by 10 so that 10 into 10 is 1. 10 cancels 10. 10 into 10 is 1. So the star is simply 1. So my answer is 1. This makes sense, right? Okay. Remember, um, we've been looking at 10 fun, tricky math questions and answers. And then we've looked at the first eight questions that bring us to the nine, ninth question, number nine. Find the correct answer to this equation. Find the correct answer. Just like we did in question eight, we need to solve from equation one. Three apples, let's say one plus one plus one, we give us 30. So apple plus apple plus apple will give me three apples equal to 30. To get the value of the apple, divide both sides by three. All right, if you divide three cancels three, three will go into 30 10 times. So one apple 
from what I've done is equal to 10. Take note of that. In equation 2, since one apple is 10, it will be 10 plus. How many bananas do we have? In the screen, we have 8 bananas all together. This is 4 plus 1, to 3, 4 plus 1, to 3, 4. 4 bananas. So 10 apples plus 8 bananas will give me 18. Collect like 10. So move 10 to the right hand side. So that 8 bananas will give me 18 minus 10, which is 8. 8 bananas will give me 8. Divide both sides by 8 to get the value of 1 banana. 8 cancels 8. 8 into 8 is 1. So 1 banana is 1. So I know that 1 apple is 10 and 1 banana is 1. Let's get for coconut. Since banana, 1 banana is 1. How many bananas can you see here in equation 3? Okay, as per this third equation, these bananas are four bananas minus two half coconut equal to two. Collect like terms. Bring two to four. You have four minus two. Bring minus two co two half coconut to the right. You have two coconut. So that four minus two is two equal to two coconut. To get what one half coconut represent divide both sides by two two cancel two 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 into two one two cancel two so half coconut is one with all this information i can now solve for the third equation since one apple is ten one half coconut is one okay where you have coconut this is one apple is ten one banana is one yeah we have three bananas sum everything up it will give me 14 and I have my answer. Okay, now we've gotten to the last question, last tricky question. I hope you've had fun. This question says, um, find the number for the blank space. Find the number for the blank space. So this involves a lot of reasoning. We have 8, 14, 22, 32. What should be here? Are you thinking? Okay, what plus 8 will give me 14? Let's do it this way. 8 plus 6 will give me 14. Add 2 to 6. We move in even. Okay, so 14 plus 8. I'm moving in even. That's why I didn't call 7. We give me 22. Still moving in even. 6, 8, 10. The next is 10. 22 plus 10 will give me 32. Moving even, the next is 12. 32 plus 12 will give me 44. So what should be in the question mark is 44. I hope you appreciate this video lesson. Thank you for staying with me. Please subscribe to this channel, share this video, and drop some an encouraging comment if you enjoyed these fun, tricky math questions and answers. Remember, IDC is here to dish out interesting educational content for you. So keep supporting IDC. Bye.